Okay, so we've created our we're gonna create our new uh, content providers. So as you hear, we have um, we're gonna make implement. In order to get the data out of the database, we're gonna implement what's called a loader manager. Now the loaders loaders are difficult. I have trouble with them. Um, they're just fiddly. They can be very hard to do. So we're gonna say here is you know public class side fragment extends fragment implements loader manager loader callbacks cursor essentially we're implementing the loaders and you have to make sure when you're importing that you import from the Android uh, support v4 app so now that we've got that done in our own create view remember how we set up the uh, the adapter and we set the adapter to the list view it's fair enough So we have our string from, and our that column isn't actually used at all, so we can get rid of that. So we have our uh, string from, string int to, you know, our integer array showing our IDs, so it is what to be mapped to, and we create, we had our uh, adapter that we created. And actually make sure that that's down the next line. So the adapter was created, remember how we've done all this before, and then we set an adapter. Now, what we actually do here is we uh, loader manager get so we'll go through what the loader is. When we implement something, we're implementing an interface. And we're going to create a loader. A loader is essentially a, a faster, quicker way of loading stuff out of uh, a database. And we're going to use a URI to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our string columns. Blah, 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 blah. So that's the columns of the database we're going to be querying. Is all of them. ID, name, comment, email. So then we're going to say cursor loader. So you create a cursor loader object. You get the activities, you need the context. And then you now we're actually going to change it to comments data provider. I know this is hard to follow. And it's comments URI, I believe it's called. It's going to be hard to follow without me talking you through it. But essentially, a loader is being set up here. And then it's going to take in the arguments columns, null, null, null. So what this is doing here is this is essentially getting the context, taking in the URI, passing in which columns we want to do, and then null, null, null. So if we look here, look, the URI, the, uh, the URI, the columns, null, null, null. URI, columns, null, null. Now this here, actually, the cursor loader is um, a subclass of cursor. So that's done. Now on load finished, we just swap the cursor with a cursor and you know, done. And then we reload like that. That's a little bit confusing, okay guys? This is difficult the cursor loader is. And there is no way around that. But essentially we've done that simple cursor adapter. And there's a cursor adapter. Yeah. So now that we've done that, we need to set up our, uh, you know, our inserting method. So essentially, what's our query button? That's irrelevant. I'm trying to find the other button. It's been a while. Ah, yes, here we are here. So now that we've got our, uh, you know, our database uh, ready, what we're going to do is we're going to actually, I'm actually going to type this out for you because it's quick and easy. I don't want to do the content values. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our data out of our uh, view member to the email and all. So we're going to say content values, values, and we're going to create CV equals new content values. Okay, done. Now we can actually, oops. Now we can actually delete this line. So we create our new content values. Essentially what we're doing is we're going to take a content values object, we're going to package every all our data into it, wrap it all up, and then fire it off to the URI, and then the URI can handle what happens to it. Because in our URI, as you remember, the insert finds which URI, and then inserts those values that are passed with it in. So uh, we need to put in our content values. So you know the, the put is the column you want to put it into. A content value is essentially a row of the database packed in. So we want to say CV, I'll do one of these, CV.put. 
So the key string is the column it's been passed into, so that's db helper.name. And then the value we're going to pass into it is a name. So that's the string value that's been entered into the database under that heading. And that's that done. So you do the same thing for comment and email. And then you say content, uh, you need to get a content resolver object, and then you insert using, you use the content resolver to insert that into the URI. So we'll create our content, and uh, you can see how the content resolver is created. So I'm going to say content, our content resolver object, dot insert into the URI. So we're going to say comments, data provider, dot comments URI and then the values we're putting in are CV and now that those have been packaged up and sent to the URI they'll be inserted into the database wabam done now we can actually get rid of this once and for all now the next thing we need to do is a final little touch is create get to our manifest and we need to create our provider and this is called comments data provider our thing here so I know the uh, font is very small. And done. Now, the authorities is the uh, string that leads to this. So it's a common, yeah, your authority string. Now, Android exported equals false. This line tells Android not to allow any, you know, and not to allow other applications to use this. If we set this to true, it means that any application can access this content provider. We can actually create a permission that they have to ask for first in the app or you know, when a user is installing it, but we're not going to go through that. So we're going to run this now and we're going to run it on the emulator once it launches. Eclipse is running a bit stuttery for me because I've got other applications and projects and stuff on the uh, go here. But as soon as it launches, yeah, it's launched in. So let's press me and we're in here and then we're just going to insert some da random data. Okay, now we're going to comment. Hey, what's happened now? As always, something is broken. Okay, so I found my problem. Uh, you need to put in here data provider. I actually forgot to change that. My mistake. Should run now. Just give it a minute to uh, load up. Okay, so we click press me. And we just put in some random stuff. DM. And the back button comment and as you can see it's coming out the text is actually white so oddly enough you can't see it but look other data that's been here before look is in here as well so now look it's ordering everything through see so now our list view is now showing up all our data well bam so that's content providers and cursor loaders now the area this area of Android can be massively varying you can do all kinds of neat stuff with this but this is just a basic overview to get some of the thoughts now and some of the methods down as well. So hope you enjoyed content providers guys. We'll be back with some more stuff in the next video.